Hi, this is Mike Thomas, a realtor here in Palm Beach County, Florida, just uh, giving you an update on what I believe the predictions are for uh, next year, 2023. Kind of a hard prediction for me because here's what's happening. We are in a midterm election period. This makes a big, huge difference, depends on in, who wins, what's going to go on. But in the end, it's probably going to level out and be somewhat normal. So uh, let me just go through real estate. Whether if you're on the fence of buying uh, or not buying, whether you're thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be at the height of the market, uh, it's the height of the market, the low of the market doesn't really matter. And I'll tell you why buying real estate never matters when you buy. Okay. Let's say worst case scenario, you buy at the top of the market at the absolute highest highs can go. And the market collapses and crashes, maybe it comes down 10%, 20%, maybe even 40% like it did in, in 2008. Have you lost anything? The answer is no, you have not. You never lose until you sell. So don't sell. If you have to move, rent it out. Okay. So I'll give you a true life uh, example about what happened. I had a friend bought at the height of the market. He comes to me and says, Mike, I want to give my house back to the bank. And I go, why? Uh, can you not afford it anymore? He says, no, I can afford to make the payments, but it's down 25% to 25%. I don't remember the exact numbers, but I'm going to give you see, some rough numbers. Um, let's say he bought it for 250 and it's down to 180. And he says, um, you know, I, I took a $70,000 loss. And I said, okay. First of all, you didn't take a loss at all because it's kind of like buying a stock. Let's say you buy Apple computers and I don't know what Apple computer is, is right now, but let's say you buy it at 100. And as soon as you buy it, it drops down to 75. Have you lost any money? No, you haven't because you still own the stock. Let's say a year later, it's at 150. Okay, you see where I'm going with this? You never lose when in real estate. And I'll tell you a few things. If you don't buy, you're going to rent. Okay. Now here's what I want you to do. And these are hard costs. These, these are, uh, sorry. This is just a few more things that I'm going to tell you about. First of all, let's say you're going to rent for $3,000 a month uh, times 12, 36,000. Okay. Now, if my friend would have given the house back to the bank and, you know, said, okay, I just saved myself $70,000, you can't rent for at least three years before buying something. So now you're stuck, sometimes even four years. So three to four years, you're not buying anything because you have a foreclosure on your list or you've given your the property back in lieu of foreclosure to the bank, okay? So what happens now? You get to rent. Okay. I asked him, I said, okay, um, you bought for 250. Um, you, you feel like you're down 70% or $70,000. Um, now you have to rent. I said, how much would it cost you to rent the place that you've given up to the bank, that you've given back to the bank? He says, oh, at least $2,000 a month minimum. Okay. $2,000 a month. Um, let's pull out our trusty calculator here. That's $24,000 per year and 24,000 times three is $72,000. So now you're renting a place and you've thrown your $72,000 out the window because you wanted to save $70,000. You see where I'm going with this? That's not the end of it. The other thing is, is there are other benefits to owning a property. One thing is mortgage interest is normally tax deductible. I don't know what it is in your state. You'd have to talk to your accountant, but generally 
uh, in my state, mortgage interest is tax deductible. So first of all, it doesn't matter what the mortgage, the interest rate is, because it's all tax deductible anyway, who cares? Uh, second of all, you're owning a place you don't have to rent. And so you know that nobody's going to be raising the rent on you. The mortgage interest rate is tax deductible. Uh, some places, the, the taxes that you're paying on property, property taxes may be tax deductible. I don't know. You'd have to check with your accountant in your area, in your state. Uh, it all depends on uh, that as well. So now you have some tax deductions that you would not normally have as a renter. Because what are you getting? You can't say, oh, I want to deduct my rent. It doesn't work that way. Their rent is not tax deductible in any state that I know of. If there is, please leave me a comment below and let me know where rent is a tax deductible item in your state. So with that being said, those are two things. Now, the other thing is opportunity gain and opportunity lost, okay? Let's say you rent for three years, property values go up, and now you end up paying more money for that property than you did if you would have bought it three years ago. Like I would have bought, I wish I would have bought when I was 18 years old, all the properties I can get my hands on. Because today, those properties would be worth a fortune. So real estate, even though it may take a little dip down and may have a correction every 15 to 20 years, it doesn't really matter. Because if you're living in it, you're enjoying it. Unlike stock, you can't live in it, you can't enjoy it, you can't do anything like that with a stock. Uh, you may get some dividends on the stocks if that stock pays out dividends, but a home is a place that you live, that you raise your family, raise your kids. It's it's all about school districts. You know, I had a friend who um, said, Mike, I'm going to send my kids to private school. And I go, why? Why don't you just buy a house in a better school district and send your kids to that really good public school? And so... If you do that, you actually put more money in the house and go, well, you know, the money that I'm normally putting towards private school, I'm now investing in real estate. So that's another option that you have. Uh, so there's three things going on here. First of all, rent is never anything you're gonna get back. Um, you, the, the deductions that you may have for owning a home as a homeowner, you may not have as a, as a renter or a tenant. And of course, opportunity lost by buying something or waiting for something to come down. Are you really making money? Because even if you would have given the, the home back to the bank, waited three years until he was able to buy and bought that same identical house back, he would be right where he started from. So in that case, you know, if it's your primary home, keep it. If it's not your primary home, and you have second homes or third homes or fourth homes or however many homes you may have, investment homes, um, then you might consider selling some of those off at the height of the market and waiting for the market to return. But you cannot really do that on a primary residence. It's your home. It's where you live. So my predictions for 2023, uh, do I believe that the market is going to crash in 2023? Gosh, I hope not, but it all depends on the midterm elections and how people view the market. How do you as consumers and buyers and people see the market? You know, do you, uh, are you afraid of interest rates rising? And if the interest rates rise, then what? Uh, my suggestion is, is so what? If the interest rate rises eight to 10% is normal, Anything above 10% is high for me. Anything lower than 8% is actually really, really good. Right now, the interest rates are still really good to buy. You may not have been able to buy as much home as you did maybe a year or two ago when the interest rates were uh, historically low. And what I mean historically is since the United States has been the United States, the interest rate has never been at 3% ever. So... With that being said, should you buy? I would. And I would buy because if the market does come down, 
if there is a correction, a normal 20% correction every 20 years, 15 to 20 years or so, then it doesn't really matter. I'm not selling it. And if I have to move, I'll just rent it out and buy something else at my new job location where I'm going to. So that's my recommendation to you. That's my prediction. Do I don't do I believe it's coming down? I don't think so, because as everybody's doing the doom and gloom uh, here, let me share my screen so you can see what I'm seeing. How do we do this here? Okay, share screen. Okay, so here I am. There's my beautiful face right there. And so this is where I live in Jupiter. And these are the average home prices, the medium home prices here in Jupiter. And have they gone up? Yes, they have. These numbers are not in the red. Even though this is in the red, this is a different strategy. I use this as an average price, not the medium price, which is, I believe, a more accurate number. So even if you bought and even if you broke even, at least you didn't throw away $24,000 in rent. So the appreciation is the fourth thing that you may lose uh, on something. Uh, let's say you buy a place and you're going, oh, Mike, my house has not appreciated one single dime in three years. And I'm going, okay, well, if you had to rent your own house out to someone, how, what would you ask for it? And they give me a number. I said, multiply that times three years, 36 months. That's the money that you saved. So that's my take on um, real estate, my uh, take on my predictions for 2023. I don't think it's going to crash, not with these numbers being in the positive. Here's Broward County in the positives. That means that your home that went up $62,000 uh, this year alone, and the year is not over yet. And if you own a townhouse or condominium, you're up $29,000 in Broward County on the average. Here again is Palm Beach County. If you bought a home in January, right now you're sitting on about $40,000 of equity extra if you bought a home. And this $40,000 is also if you had a rent for nine months and your rent was, you know, let's say $2,000 per month, that's another $18,000 that you would have to add on top of this $40,000 that you're looking at. So there's very good value in home ownership and owning a home. And the prediction is, I don't think it's gonna crash. I think it's gonna level. Um, it has to, because if not, it's mm, homes values are gonna be millions of dollars and nobody's gonna be able to buy them. So that's what I'm looking at. Let's take a look at Martin County right now. Martin County is actually uh, still on fire. If you bought a single family home at the beginning of the year, right now you're looking at almost $100,000 in equity, $90,000 in nine months. That's $10,000 per month. Most people don't even earn $10,000 per month. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, how do I kill this screen thing? So that's what I'm talking about when I say um, owning a home is your best investment. It's a solid investment. It will never, ever go to zero. Even here in Florida, let's say a hurricane comes by like Hurricane Ian and levels the entire house. The whole house is totaled. A, you have insurance on that house. So now you can replace that house with a brand new house. Now you're going to get rid of your old home and put a brand new house on it. How nice is that? And you're not even paying for it because the insurance company is going to give you that money to build a brand new house. So um, I'm trying to turn the negative into a positive here. And I know that the people of Fort Myers are probably, you know, devastated right now, but I'm sure that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You may not see it now, but um, knock on wood that, that there will be a light at the end of the tunnel for you. Um, it never goes to zero. So even if you do not decide to put a house back on your land, you still own the property, you still own the land, and that's worth something. So unlike a stock, a stock can actually go to zero and leave you with empty pockets. 
my predictions for 2023 and the real estate housing market is this. Things look good. Um, I think real estate was undervalued here in Florida for many, many years. Uh, and so therefore people are kicking themselves for not buying earlier. Uh, me for one, I wish I would have bought more real estate here in Florida than I did. Uh, and I'm in the business, so shame on me. My prediction is that it's going to continue to be a stable investment for you. And if you have the opportunity to buy, I would buy. Thank you very much for watching. Please, this is the part where I beg for you for subscribers. Please, please, please subscribe. I love subscribers and click the notification bell. Uh, give us a like if you love, if you like us, you know, share the love. If you have a comment, uh, we always love to hear from you. So leave us a comment down below and stay tuned for our next video. I am trying to post every single day um, till the end of the year. That's my goal right now. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day and I will see you hopefully tomorrow.